I remember when I came to Italy, uh, this was a part of my, my play, uh, part of my game to, to go into a lot of sliding tackles. But uh, of course, what uh, Nesta said, he is true, uh, that if you go into a sliding tackle, it means you, you made a mistake. So I still try to, to stand on my feet to take the ball uh, and not go into to a sliding tackle. But of course, it's a part of football to, to fight and win duels. So if I have to do it, of course, I, I will go into to a sliding tackle at every time. Here, the Ukrainian is found. Pasalic, Pasalic, what a tackle that is by Hulmans. Morten Hulman leads the way in Serie A when it comes to balls recovered. The Lecce captain, who's in his debut season in the Italian top flight, is a dynamic and gritty midfielder. Comes to the captain, Hulman, who strikes it off the post. I think uh, the reason why I became uh, a good uh, player to recover the balls are uh, the way I read the game. Before the games, I try to study who I will play against and their opponent team. But it's also a feeling you have on the pitch to know what their opponent will do, to know where the ball will go. So I think it's more like a natural instinct I have. Sisse, chance for Lecce. Sisse around the keeper. Sisse. 1-0 Lecce! In order to upgrade his passing game, the 23-year-old Dane has been studying the playmaking skills of Inter's Marcelo Brozovic. I try every time I watch Inter to, to look only at him. Of course, uh, Prosovic has a, a very good uh, way of running with, with and without the ball. Always to be able to get the ball and uh, take, the, take the play uh, forward. So the way he, he runs around, always ready to, to receive the ball and play in, uh, in front, is something I try to study, yes. Still there for Lautaro Correa, and away goes Marcelo Prosovic, in for the opener! From the Landrop brothers to Christian Eriksen and Simon Kier, the Danes have enjoyed a long love affair with Italian football. I think uh, the reason why Danish players adapt so well in Italy is uh, the Danish mentality. For us, uh, I think it's not easy, but it's, it's normal to go to one country and, uh, and to be ourselves, uh, to have our uh, values, to, to work hard, uh, to train hard. And that's why I think uh, players also in the past and also in the future will have big success in Italy um, because of the mentality we have. Up next for Lecce is a visit to Atalanta. Julman is set to take on his fellow countryman Rasmus Hoylo, who's been making waves with La Dea. Once again, loses the ball, Bulai Dian, Hoyland can race clear. He's up against Fazio, Hoyland! For me, it's not a big surprise that uh, a player like Hoyland had, uh, had a big success uh, in Atalanta. The style he has is very, is very rare, it's very special because he has a lot of physical power. He's very fast and he can score with left and right. Uh, and again, he has this hunger to score goals. I hope we, we will have some defenders who will take care of him. Uh, and if not, uh, I will of course be, be ready to, to stop him. But uh, it's not that we have focused on only one player. Uh, we have focused on, on ourselves, that there is our priority to, to play a good game. 